What's going on guys? My name is Ted Carr and in this video I'm going to give you three of my morning habits that I integrate into my morning routine every single day. The first habit I want to talk about is meditation. Meditation is so simple and yet so few people do it. And I reckon the reason people don't meditate is simply because they don't meditate. Once you start meditating, you can't really stop. It just feels so good and it benefits your life in so many ways. If you take an elastic band, I don't have an elastic band right now, I wish I did. But if you take an elastic band and you put it on your finger and you pull it back and you just, just pull it back a little bit and you let go, it maybe shoots forward a little bit, right? You take that band, you put it on your thumb, you pull it back a little bit, you let go, it just shoots maybe two feet. And that's how people go through the life. They're just pulling it back a little bit, going forward, pulling it back, going forward, pulling it back, going forward, pulling it back, going forward. But when you meditate, it's like putting an elastic band on. You're sitting for 10 minutes, you're pulling it back, 15 minutes, pulling it back, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, one hour, you finally let go. Boom, you're off like a rocket. That thing is going to the next building, man. That's how you start your day with meditation. You just sit, practice self-control, self-discipline, focus, breath work, gratitude, all in one, simply by focusing on your breath. And afterwards, you get up, you put in your audiobook for the second morning habit that we're going to talk about in just a bit, and you're just off like a rocket, man. Your mind is so much sharper. Your memory recall is so much stronger. You're so much more calm, so much less stress. Everything in your life just feels so much more organized. Everything always feels like it's coming together in the perfect harmony when you're in a good practice of meditation. Now, with meditation, there's definitely a, a boiling point in that if you do it once or twice a week, you're not going to really bring that water to boil. If you want the water to start boiling, if you really want stuff to start cooking in your life, really start changing in your life, then you've got to at least be meditating for seven days on an end. So give yourself a good seven days to really start reaping the serious life-changing rewards, life-changing benefits of meditation. You can definitely experience benefits of meditation within just two minutes or just even after one breath, simply by going... Breath is all important, and bringing your focus, bring, creating a singular focus is also very important in, in having a really calm, cool, collected life. So when you bring the two together, when you focus on breath work, and you get up from that, you go about your day, life is so much smoother, man. Everything just comes together. So my meditation habit in the morning looks like this. I wake up, I'm asleep, right? I wake up, I'm still a bit tired, my posture's probably not the best, probably hunched, I just close my eyes. I just start focusing on the breath, in through the nose, out through the nose. And gradually, after a minute or two, my posture is good now. I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling like I'm ready to take on the day. I'm getting really excited to go about taking on my day. But I've got to keep bringing my focus back to my breath. And every time you bring your focus back to your breath, you're doing a repetition. It's like going to the gym and doing a repetition of a bicep curl or a shoulder press or a bench press or a squat. It's when you lose focus and bring it back to your breath, that's when you get stronger. That's when you get stronger. So don't be afraid if, if your mind is full of thoughts, if your mind is loud, your mind is telling you, oh, go check your phone or go check your email or go pick up your daughter or go pick up your husband or go wake up your nephew. Whatever it is, whatever task that you have is so urgent, practice non-reaction and just be with that thought. And whenever you have a thought and you don't react to it, that's when you get stronger. Every time you have a thought and don't react to it, you're creating a smoother tunnel. You're creating a smoother pathway to act that way again. So now when you're going about your day, when you're driving through traffic and someone cuts you off, you don't react because you've practiced not reacting. You've practiced just being with the thought. You've practiced just awareness, being in the now, being aware. So the way my habit looks, like I said, is I wake up, I start with some lower posture, and I just sit there for a good 10 minutes at least. But before I do that, I'll definitely set my timer on my iPhone, and if I don't have the iPhone in my bedroom, I sometimes like to sleep without the iPhone in my room, it's charging in another room, then I'll maybe look at a clock in the room, and I'll just say, hey look, it's 6 o'clock, I'm just going to close my eyes and open it when it says 6.15 or 6.20 or 6.10, however much I feel like doing that day. But definitely the longer I meditate each morning, better more benefits I get. But if I'm out of my routine because I've been traveling something or I'm in a new place, new environment, 
then I, I'll at least meditate for one to two minutes. And if I get to one to two minutes, then the next day I can easily do three to four minutes, the next day I can easily do five to 10 minutes, the next day I can easily do 15 to 20 minutes, then 30 to 45 minutes. The longest I'll normally sit and meditate by myself is about 45 minutes. But usually it's just a good 10, 20, 30 minute meditation. And for you, if I was starting, if I was just you, like I said, I would start with one to two minutes and then maybe work your way up to five minutes and you do that for a full week. And you're gonna get some serious benefits out of that. All right, so now onto the second morning habit that I love to do every single morning when it's not raining is go out for an audiobook walk. So after I meditate, my mind is cool, calm, it's a clean slate. It's really just ready to, to start absorbing some stuff. That's when I'll go do an audiobook walk. Um, but if I come up with some really good ideas after I meditate, like normally I come up with great ideas when I meditate, but it's not the time to start writing those ideas down. If they're good enough ideas, then they're going to come back. So I'll be meditating, a new idea will come to me like, oh, i got to remember that, but I'm probably not going to, back to the breath. And after the meditation, if I get up, I go grab my phone, the idea comes back because it's so powerful, that's when I grab my note section on my iPhone and I'll write that note in there, and then I'll start listening to the audiobook. Once I'm starting listening to the audiobook, that's input, right? That's input, input, input. I, you want to have some output as well. So as I'm walking through, through, my, uh, through the park, through the streets, through the forest, up the mountains, up across the river, wherever I'm walking with the audiobook, if an idea comes to me, I'll write that note down in the note section. And then when I come home after the audiobook, I'll review the notes and see what's good, see what's good, see what's good, maybe add to it, maybe take some stuff away. And the next morning, do it all again. So audiobooks are my favorite thing to do first thing in the morning after I meditate. They just, they allow you to become so much smarter, man. They allow you to become so much more wise. They allow you to absorb the thoughts of an author. You know what? An author has put in 10, 20 years into this book, and here you are, just in a matter of hours, a matter of minutes, taking a distillation of these thoughts and making them your own. So when you take a, uh, when you're reading through or listening through an, an author's notes, an author's words, their thoughts are becoming your thoughts. And when you start thinking different thoughts, you're going to start getting different results. And especially when you listen to them on repeat. So if you listen to a really good book, that's the same as eating like a really good piece of fruit. You don't just want to eat, take one bite and put it away and say, that was a great fruit, but I'm never going to eat that again because I already ate that fruit. And same with an audiobook. You don't say, that was a great audiobook, I'm never going to listen to that again. Why not? If it was so good, listen to it again, man. Listen to it again. If it was really that good, if you really got benefit from it, listen to it again. I promise you're going to get even more benefit out of it. If you eat an apple and it's a really good apple, but you put it away and never eat an apple again, the truth is you're not going to get that much benefit out of an apple. But if you say, wow, this is a really good apple, I'm going to do an extended mono island on just apples, that's when you're going to get the benefits. That's when you're going to start to see the true benefits of eating apples. When you start eating apples at the exclusion of eating other foods, that's when you really reap the rewards. And same with listening to the same audiobook. Once you start thinking certain prosperous thoughts at the exclusion of, of uh, lower vibe thoughts, that's when you get the benefits of the positive thoughts. People say thinking positive doesn't work. That's because they're thinking positive thoughts while also thinking negative thoughts. They're, they're, they're going about their life in a negative way, their day in a negative way, but hey, I'll think a positive thought. I'm really cool, I'm really cool. No, I'm actually a piece of shit. You've got to think I'm really cool at the exclusion of thinking you're a piece of shit because you're not a piece of shit. You're a wonderful human being. See, you've got to exclude the negative and merely include positivity. If negativity comes up, learn from it. But focus on the positive. Focus on that one audiobook over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, my friends. Listen to these audiobooks five times, 10 times, 15 times, 30 times until they're really a part of who you are, until your life is so unrecognizable. That's when you maybe want to decide, hey, I want to stop listening to the audiobook. I've gotten all I got from it. Only once your life becomes unrecognizable, once you really start taking action, once you really embodied what the audiobook is suggesting for you, what the audiobook is inspiring you to do. So how's that for an audiobook motivational talk right there? The third morning habit that I would recommend you experiment with is skipping breakfast or at least eating a light breakfast. So I'll typically wake up and I won't eat for the first two or three hours of my day. Why not? Because I'm going for my audiobook walk. I'm meditating. I'm focusing on, on work. I'm focusing on other things. I, my mind is sharp. I'm clear. I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm laser. I don't need food first thing in the morning. Plus my body's just waking up. My digestive system hasn't even gotten going yet. It's like the worst thing ever to like wake up like four in the morning and pound in some food, yeah? And it's almost just as bad to wake up like 6 in the morning or 7 in the morning and eat food right away. You want to give your body time to wake up. You want to take advantage of the clarity that comes with not having any food digesting. Take advantage of the fact that all the food that you ate yesterday is now in your colon. 
especially if you're vegan or raw vegan. That food's definitely in your colon right now. Take advantage of the fact that your stomach is empty. And also, not eating first thing in the morning gives you something to look forward to. Around 9 or 10 in the morning, when it's finally ready to eat, you can really absorb those nutrients with gratitude. When you're looking forward to something, you can really appreciate it much more once you finally get it. So it's important to give thanks to the food once you finally eat it. But definitely recommend skipping breakfast or at least eating a very light breakfast if you're planning on working out in the morning. I don't like to work out on an empty stomach personally. If I'm going to the gym or I'm going for a run, I like to have at least 50 or 100 calories before I do my workout. But if I'm going for an audiobook walk or a little hike first thing in the morning or just a light swim in the ocean or something, no problem, I don't need food. But if, I'm, if I really want to make change in my body, if I want to stress my muscles out so that they grow, if I want to get my heart rate up really high, if I want to break a sweat, and I really want to work hard, then I'm definitely going to want 50 or 100 calories. I'll eat, either eat half a banana or a full banana or half a papaya or full papaya, whatever I'm feeling in the morning. But generally speaking, I will skip breakfast. I won't eat for the first couple hours of the day at least. And uh, that's just a really good habit that I've gotten into over the past couple of years. And I recommend you guys try it out as well. So hopefully you got something great from this video. This was fun for me to make. I love talking about things that really work in life because there aren't many role models out there, honestly, who are saying, hey, this really works. I recommend you definitely try this. And for those role models that are out there saying this, I've probably come across their videos and I've absorbed some of the stuff they said and I'm like, yes, frick yeah, man, thumbs up on that video. Thank you so much for making this video. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have had the idea, you know? So I definitely wouldn't be vegan if it wasn't for vegans putting their message out there on YouTube. I wouldn't be raw vegan if it wasn't for raw vegans putting their message out there on, on YouTube. I might have never even started a triathlon if a bunch of triathletes hadn't made YouTube videos either. You know, we, we thrive on inspiration from others. We are social creatures. So I'm just here to be a role model saying, look, meditation works, audiobook walks works, skipping breakfast or at least not eating for the first couple hours of the morning and taking advantage of your mental clarity really works. And uh, if you do what works and you stop doing what doesn't work, you're just going to take off like a rocket, man. Life is going to be good. So these are just three little tips that you can do every day. There's many more where that came from, but uh, there's many more videos to be made as well. So thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you have not already. I'll see you in the next video for all you subscribers. Peace, peace. Mwah.